contextual assimilation. Contextual. When the process of putting words together to form sentences or compound words results in the replacement of a sound by another, having greater resemblance to an adjoining sound, a type of assimilation known as contextual takes place. By contextual, we mean a one that it takes place when words are juxtaposed in a sentence or in the formation of compounds and by which a word um, comes to have a pronunciation different from that it has when said on its own. Um, to understand this explanation more easily, looking up the meaning of the word juxtapose may help. Uh, juxtapose. Juxtapose. To put things together, especially things that are not normally together, in order to compare them or to make something new. It's important to check the pronunciation of this word as well. Juxtapose. Hmm? Juxtapose. In the, in the explanation, we have a passive construction. So, um, let's see how to pronounce the ed ending in this case. Hmm? Words are juxtaposed. The ed ending should be pronounced with a voiced alveolar plosive juxtaposed because the stem finishes in a voiced sound. We can also, also explain what happens by means of a formula. Sound A is replaced by sound B under the influence of sound C. Sound A is replaced by sound B under the influence of sound C. We have a passive construction once more. So let's check how to pronounce that word. Replace. Replace. The stem in this case finishes with a voiceless alveolar fricative sound. So the ED here is pronounced with a voiceless alveola plosive. Is replaced. So this kind of assimilation has to do with the replacement of phonemes. And this kind of replacement takes place at word boundaries. That, um, that is when words are put together in context. You see? These uh, cases of phoneme change happen at word boundaries in connected speech. It's important to note that they may also take place inside words. Hmm? So, which kind of changes, which kind, kinds of uh, variations can we see? This uh, phonemic variation may involve changes in the vocal fold activity of sounds or in their, in their place of articulation or maybe both, a combination of both voicing and place. Let's see some examples now. Transcribe the following phrase phonemically. Then check. What happens when these words are juxtaposed? 
this is a possible simulated form we can use. The first uh, process that may take place here is elision of the alveolar plosive. Why? When we put these words together, a cluster of consonants is formed. When this happens, the consonant in the middle of the cluster it tends to be dropped, tends to disappear. Just shut the door, shut the door, may be pronounced just shut the door. So, in this case, elision of the plosive takes place first. Okay, elision of the alveolar plosive when it is in the middle of the cluster of consonants. When the plosive is dropped, when the plosive is elided, the, the alveolar fricative sound comes into contact with the palatal alveolar fricative. And this, the, the latter sound, makes the former sound change into a palatal alveolar sound itself. So, the fortis alveolar fricative sound comes into contact with the following palatal alveolar fricative and changes into a palatal alveolar fricative itself. If we go back to the formula, we can clearly see what happens. Sound A, which is the alveolar sound here, is replaced by sound B, which in this example is the palatal alveolar fricative under the influence of sound C, which here is the palato alveolar fricative sound. Let's see another example. What happens when butchers juxtaposed with a shop? Butchers shop. What do you think happens? To the voiced alveolar fricative. When the voiced alveolar fricative comes into contact with a palatal alveolar fricative, it changes into a voiced palatal alveolar fricative sound. The articulation, the alveolar articulation, is moved backwards and prepares for the pronunciation of the following palatal alveolar one. What happens to this example? In this case, we have alveolar sounds followed by a villa sound. What do you think happens? The alveolar sounds change into Villa ones under the influence of the following villa plosive. Why do you think this happens? Uh, to simplify the pronunciation of sounds. Instead of producing two different different articulations, we pronounce just one. A similar case uh, maybe maybe see a uh, scene here I don't believe it hmm? may be pronounced I don't believe it by native speakers why because when the alveolar sounds come into contact with the following bilabial one, 
the articulation changes from alveolar to bilabian. Why? To economize effort and to produce one single articulation for all the sounds. So instead of saying, I don't believe it, they may say, I don't believe it. And this is how we can represent it by means of a formula. The alveolar sounds change into the bilabial ones under the influence of the following bilabial sound. 